So in this video, I'm going to talk about the different shapes of bones. And so we have four types of bones that we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about long bones, we're going to talk about short bones, and we're going to talk about flat and irregular bones. And so let's start off by talking about what long bones are. And so long bones are longer than wide. And so you could see that right there. For example, your humerus, which is the bone in your upper arm, or your femur, which is your leg bone, are two great examples of long bones. Other examples are your clavicle, which is your collarbone, your radius, ulna, which is the bones that make up your forearm, your tibia and your fibula, which is the bones in your lower leg, and then metacarpals, metatarsals, and phalanges. And so all of these long bones, muscles act on them as rigid levers. And so that's pretty much it for long bones. Next, we're going to talk about short bones. So these short bones are essentially square-like, and they glide across one another. And they can also move in multiple directions, but there's kind of a limited motion there. And examples would be the bones in your hands and your feet. And so they're called the carpals and tarsals. And so next, we're going to talk about irregular bone. And so irregular bones are typically neither long nor flat. And an example would be your vertebrae. Your vertebrae is considered irregular. As well as your hip. So here is another example of an irregular bone. So pretty much irregular bones are shapes that they're essentially they do not have a standard shape. And then finally, the last type of bone we're going to talk about are flat bones. So these kind of bones protect soft organs and are curved, but they're wide and pretty thin. And so, for example, your cranium or your skull is made up of black, uh, flat bones. So the top of your head is made up of flat bone. And also, flat bones provide a broad surface for muscle attachment. And some other examples of flat bones are your sternum, your ribs, your scapula, as well as the cranium bones again. And so those are the four types of bones. That pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked it and found it useful. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.